Good morning. Welcome to our last and final full day Before. in Cuba. Yeah. Simple na kami nang binyan. It's 7 o'clock. We'll be going there by car. Today is supposed to be a free day, pero nakausap namin yung tour guide. Managed to hook us up for a trip. quick trip to Vinales. Here at the viewpoint, we travel kami ng around two and a half hours. Overall, the highway is parang when you're going to a province in the Philippines. We were here in the Valley of Vinales, and ang ganda ng lugar. Look at that, super picturesque. And this is where they grow their tobacco. Some of the lucky rich people get to stay at this hotel and get the nice view. <laughs> kami day trip lang. Lalo nagiging feel namin na nagta time travel ka, kasi pag nagmamaneho ka dito sa road na punong puno ng puno and greenery tapos biglang may sasakyan from the 1950s, 1960s na mga kasalubo mo or kasabay mo ang feeling mo talaga bumabalik ka sa <laughs> ibang panahon second last stop dito na sa Vinales is the Indian Caves on the way to the entrance merong Indian show I don't know, parang something's wrong pero kumanta kami <laughs> Tinuruan akong mag-blow sa conch shell. It was fun. Cueva ulit. Ayon sa Mexico, Cueva ulit. Yung mga Spanish din pala, ang tawag din nila sa mga Cubans as Indians. Why does Christopher Columbus keep insisting na every land na mapuntahan niya yung mga Indians? Something's wrong with him. So, ganun din yung cave na to, puro sa limestones. <laughs> wow! So, pumasok kami sa isang cave. Tapos sa isang cave, we walk for 200 meters, may part na yuyuko ka talaga. Pagkatapos nun ay makikita kang underground river. Tuturo nila sa yung stalactites and stalagmites, plus yung mga shapes that it resembles, katulad ng crocodile, ulo ng baboy. Tapos after nun, lalabas kayo into a cave, and yung river continues for another 20 kilometers. Pero ang gandong ka lang, kasi may dam na nagpaprevent ng boat to continue further down the river. Welcome to the Indian Caves! Nagkatahalian kami sa isang uh, restaurant na farm to table. Ganda. Don't panic, it's organic. It's a private establishment. So, ibig sabihin, asa ah, bahay lang siya. So, ito yung bahay nung may-ari. Tapos, ito yung restaurant. And sabi niya, papakainin daw niya kami ng organic, fresh, farm to table na pagkain. Gabi! Taro, alam ko taro, ito gabi ba? Ngayon, ito yung pinakamadami na pagkain na nailatag or naihain sa amin. Kasi laging maliit yung sukat ng ulam, ng kanin. Coconut water with rum. What a revelation. Panal. Mura lang ba coconut sa atin? Try nyo. Sarap. This is 
very interesting. Again, this is probably the last stop. Alam nyo naman na ang Cuban cigar ang kinikilalang the best sa buong mundo. So, andito kami ngayon sa tobacco farm. We've met an actual farmer, a Cuban farmer. Tapos pinakita niya sa amin kung paano gumawa ng mga tobacco. Filler, binder, and rubber. Right? Filler to balance the cigar inside. Binder. Honey, as a glue here. In the government factories, they use a rear glue. Look, done. No machine, no technique, just with my hands. Right now, it's not good to smoke because it's humid. In three days, get dry, ready to smoke. Pinakita niya sa amin kung saan dinadry yung mga leaves. Everything is perfect. September, we plant tobacco in the field, and in February, we harvest. Same tobacco plant, different position in the leaf in the plant, different brand of cigars. Bottom leaf, light cigars, like Romeo and Juliet. Medium, Monte Cristos, Partagas, Monterey, and Top Cohibes. When we harvest, we bring tobacco inside of a drying house. We have them here to dry about three months. In three months, the leaves get dried. At saka, kung saan nakaplant yung mga tobacco. Nakakita kami ng tobacco plant. Although hindi in season, right now, yung field is punong-puno ng mais. So, ito yung mga ginawa niya. And bumili kami ng isang pack. Our last stop is... May mali sa translation eh. Ang nakasulat is prehistoric wall painting. Pero hindi talaga eh, ano lang siya. Wall painting about evolution. So, painted siya in 1973. Normally, papasok ka, magbabayad ka ng entrance fee, around $3. Pero, since yan ang attraction and malaki siya, tanaw na tanaw mo naman siya from a parking space. So, nag-stop lang kami nearby. And what's even more beautiful is that ikaw yung nasa valley. So, nandun ka sa loob, tapos makikita mo yung mga mountain formations surrounding it. Plus, yung mga kotse makes you feel like you're in 1960s. Ah. We are back in Habana Vieja after a three-hour ride from Vinales. Pabalik, I must say Vinales is a very beautiful place. Although, now that I know about Vinales, sana nagstay kami ng mga two days. There are lots of interesting outdoor places to go to and to do, like hiking, pwede ka pala mag-scuba diving, pwede ka magdagat. Vinales would be a good day trip outside Havana, pero pwede ka mag-overnight mag two days. Now, walking in Havana Vieja, even though you can say that people are not well off and people are hustling and hustling just to make ends meet, or to get some extra money. It's a completely safe city. And I'm saying this because majority of the place na pupunta ka except probably Dubai kung sa kami nag work you have to be careful about thieves, about snatchers, about sexual harassment. But here, in the past four days na naglalakad kami, nagilibot kami, hawak-hawak ko yung camera ko, yung iPhone ko nakalabas, same as with any other tourist. And even late nights, wala kami naging problema. Wala kami na-encounter na anything untoward or anything indecent. So it's quite different here, I would say. Something also that's unique here, yung mga taxi drivers, yung mga gumagawa ng mga private hustles, a lot of them could be lawyers, a lot of them could be doctors in uh, their day job, and then nagsa-side guideline sila mag-taxi, or mag or mag-tour guide. Katulad nung isa, engineer, yung aming tour guide, yung isa naman, lawyer. Kahit doctor ka, limited pa rin ang sahod mo. Kung ang average Cuban salary is 25 to 30, ang doctor may be 50 uh, US dollars a month. Para mas lumaking income, tatrabaho sila in other professions may marami silang sideline like mag-taxi or mag-tour guide so ngayon magdi-dinner na kami pupunta kami sa Sloppy Joe's ni recommend ni Luis nung aming magaling na tour guide for the day welcome to the 1950s 1960s either nagpunta kami at the wrong time or hindi na siya popular konti yung tao ngayon na nandito kami kaliligo ko lang naliligo ang pawis may bisyo ako sa likod ko <laughs> papalamig muna si Joy cheers This is the sandwich that Sloppy Joe's is famous for. It's ground beef. Ang tawag sa kanya Sloppy Joe's sandwich. Kaya siya Sloppy Joe's sandwich kasi sobrang soggy nung, nung meat na nilalagay. Na pag umasok sa bun, magiging lasog-lasog yung bun. <laughs> amoy, amoy giniling. <laughs> Crispy onions. Masarap. Masarap naman yung food. Parang giniling. Parang giniling natin. Medyo mahal. 
kung yun ang yung mindset mo. Pwede ka pumunta dito to take pictures or drink. Pero it's the Sloppy Joe sandwich, parang giniling. Literally, nanilagay sa sandwich. Our next stop is a rooftop bar called El Del Frente. It's 7.30! May araw pa! Trendy bar siya. May restaurant siya sa tapat. Naging sobrang popular, they decided to open another bar dito sa harap ng restaurant. Anong pangalan? El Del Frente. Translation na yun in English is at the front. Kasi nasa tapat siya ng unang restaurant. Having dessert restaurant! It's almost sunset. Alas 8 ng gabi. And lastly, Tagal naming nilakad, kaya pawis na pawis ako at saka madilim. Hinahanap namin yung cheapest mojito and nandito kami sa El Pachanka and we're ordering mojito and uh, croquetas and pachanka special and gin and tonics si Joy. Things are getting serious. This is probably the last time. Actually, it should be the last time. Kasi pawis na ako. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll end our last night drinking Cuban cocktails except si Joy na nag gin and tonic. Anyway, we've enjoyed our days in Cuba and uh, we'll call it a night after this. Or maybe bibili ko ng tetra pack na rampak ito ko sa inyo. This is how we will end the night. Bibili kami ng tetra pack na rum silver dry. Dito lang ako nakakita ng ram na parang sesto. <laughs> so ihalo mo siya dito sa National Coke nila. Kasi bawal lang, hindi naman, mas mahal lang Coke. So ito yung mura. Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Okay, this is how we will end the night. <laughs> Ciao! We are outside the old uh, Havana. Uh, spending our last few hours taking photos.